Hello guys, welcome back to another episode of the Trailblazer. And on the last episode, I started working on Armadale and Bandos. So we can get some more upgrades and also use it for a bunch of other things. For PVM and Dragon Rank grinding. And at Armadale, we got pretty lucky. Got the full completion. Sub 200. Used it at Bandos. And yeah, we're trying to get full Bandos completion. Because I have some massive plans for melee purposes. For lots of tasks. And it's just, you know, general purpose, best in slot. So it's definitely worth going for. But as always, we are diligently working on Dragon Rank. I'm trying to get myself in the top 1000 while also working on my PVM focus goals that you'll see on the screen. But as always, keep liking the video if you're enjoying what you see. And consider subscribing and clicking on the bell so that way you don't miss out on any future uploads. It helps a lot. Oh, 46, 46. Oh my god, we actually did it. That's so cool. Holy crap, that was amazing. Oh my god, nice. Oh, yes, boys. Let's go. We got it. Yes, dude. Ah, five, three, eight, man. Just wait. Damn, we went 4x over this. Oh, shit. We did go 4x. But, yo, I don't even care, man. Oh, fast kills or whatever, you know. I I'm chilling, man. And look at these nature runes, dude. I stocked up with nature runes, man. Let's go, dude. Yes, yes, yes. Full bandos. Might as well finish the points, too, as well. While we're at it. Yes, 500 points for that. Oh, my God. Look at our points now, dude. We're looking good now. We're, like, more than just at the edge of Dragon Ring. We are now, like, getting deep in the middle, you know. Alright, so we have ourselves our best melee slayer gear of all time. Right here. This is it. This is peak. Can't get any better than this for my region. So it's freaking nice. Uh, but anyways, the goal is with this, it's going to all go towards the dragon rank grind. You know, top 1000. That's what we're deciding for, top 1000. So we can be safe. But you see this? All the melee stuff. We're going to get 25 mil. All through slayer. Uh, we're going to combo it with abyssal demons for the elite clues. And the hard clues, you know, from the superiors. Also, the clue scroll grant is going to be good for range care upgrades. We can get God Dehive boots, pretty realistic. God Dehive van braces, pretty realistic. I will be working on the 25 mil melee stats throughout the next few days, but I also will be working on a bunch of other tasks that are pretty easy to do so I can grab some more points. Right now, maxing is also in the plan, so I'm currently picking up the pace for maxing as well. And also, max kit would be pretty nice for PVMing. So one of the big tasks for points that I've been working on the past uh, week is Giant Mole. So 750 Mole is like close to a thousand points. But yeah, as a ranger with my current regions, I found Armadale Crossbow to be surprisingly effective with the Dragonstone Bolt Seed that I got from Armadale. The whole point after the first 100 HP is to hit it as little as possible but as hard as possible. So ACB with the spec was super accurate and of course Dragonstone Bolts hits really hard so it allowed me to kill the boss consistently faster than just rapid blowpiping it. Let me show you guys the max hits of my setup right now for the grind. We are looking at 47-47 with DDS and for the Blev Salador it is a 56. So yeah we're gonna be on controlled because we get 400 plus more experience per hits due to Equilibrium's effect so we're gonna take advantage of that. Luckily, Bit of Saldor, you know, has control. Oh, wow. <laughs> Yo, it's so funny. I never did Abyssal Demons until now. So, I got another uh, 250 points for that, yeah. Oh, Abyssal Whip. Hell yeah, dude. That's more points. Easy. Yeah, we got the casket. Alright, next. Man, that's insane. How is this hard clue six steps too? Hey, nice, dude. This is a good start, man. Not bad. I'm I'm digging this uh, grind here. It's pretty fun. Oh, we got a unique item. Awesome. That's going to help towards getting some uh, tasks done. Hey, we got the Deer Stalker. Please, unique item on this heart. Oh, two unique items. Three, actually. Okay. All right, here we go. Elite Clue. And Elite Clue was very unfortunate. Nothing new at all. Probably not, but... Oh, shit. Hey, 
Nice, they fixed that. Oh, they, they didn't fix it, they just made it so that uh, it's not region locked task. Hey, <laughs> Don't be the fifth defender. Oh, wait, I already have this. Oh, such a tank. Oh my god, what? Back to back, no way. Uh, gotta go for the spin, here we go, here we go. Oh, yes, new item, let's go. Hell yeah, points. Easy, 250 points. Uh, although it's not much different from my blade, but honestly though, like seeing how long it took me to get this grassy rapier, yeah man, this blade definitely came in clutch. This is perfect time for the blowpipe right there. Everything just decided to turn green, so. So let me just tell you guys a bit behind the scenes on what I'm doing when I'm just AFKing. Right now, we are getting 99 woodcutting and trying to get approximately enough logs to get 99 con as well with it since maxing is pretty much confirmed takes what my build is around 900k to 1 mil an hour uh, with decent attention to banking and whatnot but yeah very easy very chill especially with crafting cape and uh, last recall hey you got 99 we're cutting more points speaking on construction supplies i have 2.5k teaks and 1.3k mahoganies so I must be decently close. I think I need to chop probably like another thousand. All right, so no more mole tasks. I finished all the mole finally. So that puts me at 44,000 points and 750 giant moles probably only took like eight hours. So I got 5,000 teaks and uh, 1,000 mahoganies. I think this should get me close to 99 construction and also uh, some long and curved bones for that too. But yeah, if I'm a little short, of course, I'll just wrap it up behind the scenes but yeah let's go and plank everything and get started we're pretty deep into this grind right now i've gained about 7.5 mil experience but yeah five an hour though it's pretty pretty nice just doing teaks and whatnot now i got some bones to cash in so i hope this is enough man uh let's just go ahead and see i only need like 700k so Oh, wow, that was awesome. I can't believe it. I actually didn't need to get any extra uh, planks. Wow, that was actually insane. Jesus, my math skills are not too bad, you know, for not being in school for so long. Two years and counting, but yeah. Hell yeah, dude. Today, I gained 12 mil construction experience. So, I had some leftover time tonight, so I decided to do a few easy tasks. I made a few more global tasks. So, I went and got myself a granite shield, leaf sword, and all the not too rare drops from wyverns and gained a few hundred points so i'm going to be focusing more on maxing now so the next active 99 that i want to get done is 99 agility and of course i'm going to get some points along the way so to start off i'm going to get the 60 agility tickets done from brimhaven course and then i'm going to bang out the 250 agility course at canvas task and that should hopefully get me near 82 because at 82 i can start floor 4 of the sepulchre and that's where i will be all the way to 99 so sepulchre to 99 and also get all the tasks done hopefully with the ring as well always good to go back to the middle after you get your ticket so that way you have the best chance to get the next area oh there we go we finished it yeah we still need six more levels the jig and the spin here we go oh bando's chaps wait Oh shit, nice, I finished the task. Let's go, three uniques, was it, two? Oh hell yeah, that was so worth it, bro. Nice, we finished our last hard clue task, I think. The next ones is insane, it's like 30 slots or something. I I'm not gonna be able to do that, unfortunately. Nice, that's worth it then, very worth it. Yeah. Cool, another cavalier. Alright, next one is the elites, here we go. Whoa, I got a master clue. What the frick? I'm probably gonna drop this on the first step, just saying. Oh, yep, I knew it. First step, I can't even do it. Hey, we did it. There we go. 250 laps on a rooftop. All right, that's nice. So, we still need two more levels. It is time to do Sepulchre now, boys. 82 agility, floor four. So, the first few things we're gonna get done for the task is to get the tools task done. So I'm gonna loot floors three and four while training my Jody up. 
And yeah, I got all the stuff ready. Some vampire dust, uh, some planks, grapple, enchantment, and all. It's been a little bit since the last time I've done this, so hopefully we can get all the tasks done really quick. And hopefully I get lucky on this endurance ring. Because ideally, I want to get this endurance ring done before 99 Jody. Hey, first task done already. Many more to go. Oh, right. This is where I stop. Okay. Well, that's fine. Yay, I completed floor 4 though. Cool. Keep going for more marks then. That's for sure. Ooh, first Sanfu serums. Those are good for Nightmare when the time comes. West side, west side 49. God damn. Alright, let's go buy ourselves a, a good old hollow ring again. Oh, hey, that's a task apparently. But yeah, I need to get the tools. But yeah, this is definitely the first thing to buy if I'm going to camp to 99 Jody slash the ring of endurance here. Just because it makes Sepulchre so much nicer. So I highly recommend this if you guys are going to do 99 here. All right, boys and girls, time for another opening. Please be good. Oh, got the eye boots. Woo, baby. Hell yeah, dude. This shit was so worth it. Yes. Oh my god. Got the high boots, man. Bye bye, snakeskin boots, man. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, man. Yo, got the high boots, man. Let's freaking go, dude. That's pretty much my best in slot wrench boots, because. Unfortunately, medium clues are only one an hour with my build after testing it, so ranger boots are not happening, probably. Unless I get lucky passively doing it. But yeah, this is basically this is it. Nice. We got the upgrades we're looking for. Oh I did it! Yay! First one. We got the 25 million attack. Very nice. Very shortly I'll be uh getting the other one, so. Alright. This is probably going to be the last elite clue that we're doing during this 25 mil grind. Okay, I wonder what this is about. Certainly not the last elite clue ever, because I know TOB is going to give me a bunch of elites for me to try. But yeah, let's see. Last one for the 25 mil grind, probably. Here we go. Oh, whoa, I finished the task? Holy shit, the timing is so perfect, man. I didn't think I was going to finish another... Elite clue task. Oh, 10 unique items, dude. Sick. That's awesome, man. Hell yeah, dude. Okay, I'm very, very happy with the the things we've gotten done so far on this 25 mil. Hell yeah. A 25 mil strength. Perfect wrap up here. And now for the final. There we go. 25 mil defense. Voila. We, we are done. Almost 47,000 points, Ben. Very fruitful, though. Let me show you quickly superior KC here. We got all the way to 96 superiors. Most of them were Abyssal Demons. Sad to say, not a single imbue heart. Not a single eternal gem. So fear not, they're not too useful for me, so it's not a big deal. And uh for the collection log, we're gonna check out the Abyssal Demons, I guess. 14 whips, cool. And for the hearts, we got some bangers, man. Some bangers. Most notably, I got myself some god vampires. Very nice. And the Band of Sea High Boots. No more snakeskin boots gang. Sorry, boys. Not part of that club anymore. So that's nice. Elites. Nothing really to show off, honestly. Just managed to complete some elite clue tasks. So that was good. I usually don't do this in my videos, but if you did watch all the way to the end, make sure you type in the comments hashtag rip snakeskin boots. This melee setup was banging though, worked out really, really well. That's probably getting 2 to 3 mil XP total an hour combined. Shout out to uh, Control Squad with Equilibrium, was so nice. Thank you guys for watching today's video. If you found this video to be enjoyable, consider giving it a like. We also have a friends chat, feel free to join that if you want to hang out. And also, consider subscribing and ringing the bell, that way you will get all video notifications. And if you have Amazon Prime, feel free to subscribe on twitch.tv slash ricecup and you can financially support me for free through Amazon Prime. Anyways, thanks for watching. See you guys later.